You've caught Carrie at the Cherokee Triangle Arts Festival, which is always the weekend before Derby. You can find 200 artists here. I'm here with Lynn, who is on the board. What can we expect to find as far as the kind of art here at the festival? You'll find handmade, best quality art that you can find anywhere in the country. We have jewelry, which is uh, metalworks out of silver. We have jewelry that is made out of broken up bowling balls, which is just, they're beautiful and very interesting. Um, we have glass, different kinds of glass, blown glass, stained glass, um, wood sculpture, stone sculpture, metal sculpture, uh, different kinds of pottery. Some is country-like, some is very elegant and beautiful. As far as paintings is concerned, we have oil, watercolor, uh, some, uh, a lot of photographers, beautiful photography. There's always characters to be found at any art festival, and I've definitely found one here. This is Jimmy, who loves to travel to different art festivals. What makes this one unique? This one here is a great art festival, but it benefits music they play here every Sunday. I mean, it, it's really for the people in the area. This is their income to do that, to pay the musicians. You've caught Carrie with Elizabeth of Cazito Cookies, and you were, seem to be a Kentucky favorite. Yes. I've been in some shops and seen your cookie, and on the back proudly states they're made in Louisville. Yes, they are. So what makes your cookies the best? Well, because I make them homemade, and I cut them in my basket. Like in Africa, we cut food in our baskets, and that's what makes it special, I think. Well, the reason I think that this is a unique f festival, art fair, is because of, it's put on by a neighborhood, so it's not... Uh, Chamber of Commerce where it's, uh, people have to have it a certain way so it's got a real loose kind of fun feel to it and I think all the people who come are, get that atmosphere out of the show with all the kids tents and it's just kind of fun so uh, lighthearted art fair is kind of a really good way to put this one.